weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the series takes an emotional look at a case that made headlines back in 1989 involving the wrongful conviction of five black and Latino boys, best known as the Central Park Five. Well, Blair Underwood plays an attorney in this series. Good to see you, Blair. Good to see you all again. Now I'm known as the Exonerated Five, by the Exactly. Okay. Which I like. We should have led off nice. with that. Yeah, well, I was thinking about you before you shot this. I mean, do you remember when this was unfolding in the late 80s? I do. This was 1989 when it started. So I was, I was doing L.A. Law at the time, playing mm -hmm. a lawyer, a much younger lawyer mm -hmm. at, right. on TV at the time. But uh, I, I just remember hoping and praying that it wasn't true, that these mm -hmm. five boys yeah. had not done this terrible, heinous act, which was the beating and, 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 and rape of a, a female jogger. Um, so just crossing fingers. But, you know, it was years later, 14 years after that, they were completely exonerated. Exonerated and released from prison. And, and released then... from prison and the city paid $41 million. They don't get their life back and everything that they took from them, but it was something. This film or this, this series sends you through, I mean, basically every single emotion you could possibly yeah, feel. I mean, there are people who've told me they had to stop it, but they get back to it. Yeah. What would you say is the thing that you hope people um, muster the courage to see this for Yeah, I hear that all the time, and that, you know, just oh, to take a breath, but you have to see it. It's, 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 it's educational. Um, it's, it's, it's important because not, not much has changed. We were talking about SZA and Sephora exactly. and Oprah and, uh, and Hermes. Now, that's small fries compared to these yeah. boys. They say boys because they're yeah. 14, 15 years old, exactly. 16 at the time, but their lives being completely turned upside down. So, you know, everything old is new again. Not a whole lot has changed. Ah. Yeah, but let's hang on that because they are boys. And when this was yeah. happening, they were portrayed as villains. And I feel the key to this particular series is that we see them as the little boys that they are That's with it. their families having this incredibly difficult time. I, I, do you feel like that message has been portrayed um, throughout the entire piece and now you know who they are? Mm -hmm. as opposed oh, to absolutely. It's, it's four hours. It's really a film in four parts. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't even want to say episodes uh, because you go, you go under those layers and you right. see their humanity, mm. which, is, which is necessary. Sure. Because, you know, then they were talking about their animals and they were objectified and they could be thrown away. Yeah. Um, you know, they're full-page ads taken out by our, our current president that's, that called for the ah. death penalty mm -hmm. days after the crime happened, mm -hmm. days after, before due process or anything else. Mm -hmm. So, so yes, yeah, so the beauty of this piece, mm -hmm. though it's hard to watch, mm -hmm. is that you see their humanity and you see these children. And they're, how babies. they're babies. As a parent, As a parent, I was saying yesterday, for me, I felt so helpless watching this. What kind of emotions did it evoke no, in you? that's it. You know, it's funny. My, my wife, and I, it's ironic, my wife and I watched it together. She cried. Mm -hmm. I got angry. Yeah, because mm -hmm. that sense of just powerlessness mm -hmm. as an actor playing an attorney for this young boy that I wanted to help, but also in real life. And then I watched it with my sons and daughter. And, um, you know, as, as young African-American men, especially because they're young men now, that sense of, of, of profound impotence and powerlessness, because there are times when they walk out that door, mm -hmm. I can't be there all the time. Yeah. Like daddy. You know what Ava does really well, obviously? She was able to talk about the criminal justice system and how it doesn't necessarily work for you. So you're, yeah. you, as you talked about, being helpless and hopeless, and here you are playing a divorce attorney, right. representing oh, yeah. a, a huge criminal trial. How is that even possible? Strong Explain motivation. Bobby Burns as well. Yeah, very, so Bobby Burns was the, 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 the divorce attorney for Youssef Salam's mother, mm -hmm. Sharon. So how it happened was he just knew them, and it was very, it was a personal thing. And he tr the family trusted him. But he was a divorce attorney. He had never done criminal law, so yeah. he was really in uh, over his head at the time. Yeah. His mother comes down Blair, incredible job. Thank Everybody you so watch work. that and watch yes. it with your incredible. children yes. to make yes. sure. we got to give a shout out. Is it true? We had a little game. We're going to play no, Blair's Believe go. It or Not. Believe it or not. Your mother at age 82 is going to college? Yeah, that's right. Oh, that's wow. right. I love it. Just, just that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. What's her amazing. name? Her name is Marilyn Underwood. Go, uh -huh. Marilyn. Get it, Marilyn. Get it, Marilyn. That's right, and she's getting it. Oh, look at her. Look at Mama. Okay. And my dad. That's my dad. Is it true that you gave Nick Jonas Priyanka Chopra's number, and that's how they? That's how that you thing got hooked up. We heard, brother. We heard. I take credit for that, but I didn't. <laughs> you say I yes and no. no. You have cufflinks given to you from the Obama White House. Uh, that is true. I, I, yes, oh, I, I believe that. that. Listen, yes. we know. Research. I took a mug. Research. I took a mug. Research. It was not given to me. Yeah. I, just, yeah, I took right a mug. I just took it. I know this one's true. Wait, you played Miranda's boyfriend on Sex and the City, but initially we're going to be Samantha's boyfriend. That is true. What? 
That would have been a little sexy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Ruth said, that was one of my favorite oh, roles. Did you not love him? Oh, that? the doctor, the hot doctor. doctor. I was like, Miranda, well, get it together. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't get you hear what the even said, I love you? Wait, what y'all can't see is that our whole set just said, whoo, yeah, that would have been, yeah. Miranda, get it together. Blair, it's so good to see you, man. Yeah, it's great so good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. When They See Us yeah. is available now on yeah. Netflix. Please go see it. If you love that video, you're going to love everything on the Access YouTube channel. So hit the subscribe button. You can thank me later. Hit it.